So today I'm going to be showing people how to farm skill points easily in the late game of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Now, the easiest way to do this is to make sure you don't do the Shura ending. So go against your father, Ill, at the end of the game and head to Fountainhead Palace. Once you've cleared Fountainhead Palace, this means killing the Divine Dragon after the Sanctuary Idol, you will unlock a new version of the area around Ashina Castle. So head back to Ashina Castle and unlock the Antichamber Idol. This is the first way that you can farm in Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Now, I'm playing on New Game Plus. I've beat the game. I've beat the game again on New Game Plus. Once you beat the game, you can play as much as you want before you go to your next playthrough. So you can go and end the final boss, then you can come and mess about as much as you personally choose. So that's what I've done. I'm just taking my time just now. Uh, you earn skill points at a decent rate. It doesn't get too good later on, as you can see I have 11,000 skill points and still need 37,000 near enough to get to the next level. The reason skill points are important is because there is a trophy for acquiring all skills. So I have acquired most, as you can see, I need a few there and a few of the big ones there. So this method involves you being stealthy, going up to this guy here and, oh, I missed that up. Okay. No mind, but let's just beat him. Oh, well, I can count them in my deal pretty much. That would have made that quite easier. Okay, so as you can see, you get 2104. So destroy that wall, and once you've destroyed that wall, you can now rest at the idol. And as every single time you kill him here, you will get 2,000 skill points. You don't even really need to crouch on the way up to him. There you go. Stealth kill. 2,104. As you can see, there's no enemies in this room. So there's no way for you to double up. That, that's just aggro's aggro, enemies aggroing against each other, unfortunately. Not to you. And they're too far away, and there's too many of them to even get a stealth kill. But you can get up to it here. Oh, no. I would be going. Mess that up. I've not been doing this. I wonder if I can put a different method. I actually don't think it's as good. But I'll need to check. I think I accidentally landed an Itchy Mondo on him though. Itchy Mondo is fantastic. If you don't use it, start using it. Especially for Ishin, the final boss. Uh, it does so much positive damage. It really, really can change the fight on its head quite quickly. Right, okay. So as you can see, you can get to it here before you start sneaking. Uh, the only thing that's annoying about this is how long the animation takes. But that's method one, okay? So that's starting from the upper tower, anti-chamber idol, and stealth killing the one shinobi there. The next method is to head out this window if you're here, and head round this direction, okay? So jump out of the water here, quickest way to do it. Head up to this wall. There's this guy here, we'll just get rid of him so he's not being annoying. So we're probably need two for him, which is not bad. But what we're going to do is we're going to head to this idol here. This is the old grave idol. From here, you can see there's now a bridge down here. Let's head to that bridge. The fall damage in this game is amazing. Once you go to this bridge, this fight will start between these enemies. You can just run across it. And just ignore everyone, you know, skirts. Again, ignore, ignore, ignore. Most of them will ignore you too. Here, there's a mini boss. He's identical to the drunkard mini boss. Get to these stairs. Run down the stairs, you'll see a few more enemies. Back up to here. Jump across to here. And then rest at this idol. Okay. So, this is the outskirts wall stairway idol. And this is the second place that you can grind if you want to mix it up a bit. So we start from here, grapple up to this wee bit, look down. Oh well, you should still kill him, obviously. Kill him, then drop down to this guy here, still kill. Still kill this one just on the other side of the fiery gate. And then you've got these two guys to ruin the wall. Right. Luckily, if you mix up the step kills like I did twice there, 
you're powerful enough and these guys are weak enough that you can pretty much kill them like that. So on New Game Plus you get just over 4000 XP from this, so on New Game it's probably about 3000, rest again. Uh, what you should do is make sure you have the Ninjutsu Technique Blood Smoke equipped. This just means that when you kill the other two down there, if you mess up the first stealth kill like I did, you can still stealth the two of them. Now, don't worry about using spirit animals when you're doing this. You get so many, you get loads of Ministry Dows and Powder, you get 175 gold per kill in the game plus, you get over 100 normally. And you're just moving through the enemies one at a time. If you're the other one, you can simply do that and run up and start them in the back when he's looking for them. But, if you do it like that, you won't actually let any of them. And it's just five really, really simple backstabs. No difficulty at all, and that's an easy way for you to farm skill points. And it's not as monotonous as running over, stabbing the one shinobi, and running back because that gets boring really quick. I'm not gonna lie, this gets boring really quick. The whole end grind, game grind, is a bit of a bore, but this is the quickest way to farm not just XP but money as well. If you're really struggling for money, which you might be if you're trying to buy things like divine confetti to take on the headless bosses. Then there are other things you can do. I'll show you one of them in a wee second. When you're doing this area, you can pop the item known as Mibu Balloon of Elf, and that'll get you an extra bit of money. Let me try this here then, because it's not the worst. So look at that, look how easy it is to just go through them all without any aggro in, and on the way back up, you just hold square, gather in some money, and jump back up. So, there you have it, the easiest way to farm both gold and XP in the late game of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Thank you.